Stand by for action. We are about to launch Stingray. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Zero. She's still there, Troy. Red four zero. Green seven five. Closing in fast. Impact 20 seconds. Red 180. Green 180. We can't shake it off. Impact 10 seconds. Impact 5 seconds. He's going to strike. Impact down. Dead on target, phones. Guess the Navy's new marine missile is a 100% success. Yeah, lucky it was only a test. Navy sub 27 from Stingray. Come in, Captain Jordan. Jordan here. Navy sub 27 from Stingray. Test complete success. Return to Marineville. Roger, Stingray. I'm surfacing. I'll see you back there.
Agent X20, report. Oh, Titan, ruler of the underwater city of Titanica. I have just observed the testing of a new marine missile by the Turanians. Of what use is this report to me, Agent X20? The missile would be an invaluable asset in your war against Troy Tempest and Stingray. How can we get the missile? There will be another test tomorrow. Very good. It will be attended to. I have long awaited a chance to gain revenge on Tempest. Congratulations, Captain Jordan. Guess that World Navy missile is a winner. Yes. It puts your sting missiles in the shade, eh, Troy? Well, I wouldn't say that, but it's pretty good. No, oh, Tempest. You Aquanaut boys have been top dogs for a long time, but I figure this missile puts you well behind. Uh, let's wait until tomorrow's test, eh, Jordan? Could be the missile is not infallible. Uh, do not kid yourself. The Navy's got it over the wasps this time. Uh, if you two are going to start arguing about rivalry between the two services again, you can do it in the standby lounge. Marina and Atlanta are there waiting for you. Now, Marina, you want to throw a dinner party tonight at your apartment, is that right? And you want me to ask Troy and Phones along, and that nice Captain Jordan, huh? We always used to be known as the Senior Service Tempest until the wasps were inaugurated. Yeah, then I guess you had some real competition. <laughs> Don't you believe it? Quality beats quantity every time. That's not what I call friendly. Well, you started it. Hi, fellas. How did the test go? Just great, Atlanta, honey. Hunted that tub stingray down just like a homing pigeon. What do you mean? The Navy's got nothing to touch, huh? Okay, okay, knock it off. Listen, boys, we're all off duty now and Marina has arranged a special dinner party. So what say we all forget about work and relax and enjoy ourselves? Nearly through. She's cooked some wonderful dishes. Well, I'm sure looking forward to it. Yes. I presume the food in the wasps isn't up to much, huh? Reckon we do okay? Hey, Atlanta. Well, Troy, the meals in the tower diner could be better. <laughs> you wouldn't have any complaints in the Navy, Atlanta. Oh, no. Now, now Troy, d don't get mad. Ah, here comes Marina with the first course. You came just in time, Marina. This conversation was getting real icy. Yeah, uh, let's eat. What did you think of the disc, Jacques? Wonderful, Atlanta. You like the music, huh? All our vessels have taped music piped right through the cabins. In the Wasps, we haven't got time to listen to music when we're on duty. Your ships are so noisy, you wouldn't hear it anyway. Now listen, Jordan. If we wanted music, we could have it. But we prefer to stick to business. We have our fun. We're with it in the Wasps, too, you know. I can see that you are Atlanta. That's a beautiful dress you're wearing. Why, thank you. It's new. I was wondering when someone would notice. Must be nice for you to get away from such a dull uniform for a while. There's nothing wrong with our uniforms. Maybe not for you, Tempest. But Atlanta is a woman. And a pretty one. She looks swell in a well Navy uniform. She looks okay in our uniform. It's serviceable and neat. Exactly. But a girl likes to be feminine. And the Navy uniform was designed for just that. Say, why don't you stop bragging, Jordan? I'm getting tired of hearing about your precious Navy. Troy, I'm surprised at you. Yeah, and I'm surprised at you, Atlanta. Listening to all this junk. Good night. Oh, Troy, come back now. Don't get so head up. Let him go, Phones. If he wants to act like a spoiled child, then let him. I can't imagine what's got into Troy. He's usually so sweet. Oh, why don't we just forget him and get on with the party, huh? <laughs> Don't be upset, Marina. Troy didn't mean to ruin your party. He'll be okay when he's cooled down. Oh, come on, Atlanta. Relax. Tempest will be okay. 
Let's enjoy the evening. Yes. Why not? I'll put on another disc. That big-headed loudmouth. I'll be glad when he gets back to his precious navy. And women, they're just as fickle as the sea. Peaceful one minute, fighting like crazy the next. At last, my chance to gain vengeance on Troy Tempest. You understand what has to be done? Good. Prepare for your mission and make no mistakes. The missile test takes place tomorrow morning. Stingray test crew standing by, sir. Okay, Lieutenant. Sound action stations. Yes, sir. Well, there goes action stations, Troy. Yeah, phones. Let's get on with it. The sooner this job's over, the quicker Jordan gets the heck out of here. Navy submarine moving into test position, sir. Right, Lieutenant. Sound launch stations. Here we go, phones. About last night, Troy, I guess Jordan made you mad, huh? That's the understatement of the year. Well, I straightened things out with Marina for you. Thanks, folks. I guess it was rough on her. I sent her some flowers this morning. Atlanta. Right now, she's the last person I'd send flowers to. How sweet. Flowers from the captain. Thanks for a swell evening. Love, Jacques. Tower from Stingray, ready for launch. Clear to go, Stingray. Okay, sir. Navy Sub 27 from Stingray. In position for missile test. 27 to Stingray. Guess you're glad this missile won't be loaded. Now, why should he say a thing like that, Troy? Ah, oh, he's just keeping up the big man act, phones. I'm gonna try to cut him down to size. How do you mean, Troy? What can we do? Well, I figure that missile has got just one thing wrong with it. And if I'm right, Jordan will go away like a wounded catfish. And if you're wrong, Troy? Oh, then we get another dent in Stingray's hull. Okay, Jordan, let's get this show over. Fire missile. Fire is the word, Tempest. This one is going to be dead on a target. Cut the wisecracks, buddy. Follow procedure, will you, and fire that missile. Okay, Tempest, but listen. You try to warn, damn nice. But this is cold blooded murder, forcing me to arm that missile with a warhead. Not obey, you die. Then we do it. This way, you will live and end in shame. Now, fire missile. Tempest must die. <laughs> Mrs. 
sail away. Get moving, Tempest. About time, too. Okay, phones. Acceleration rate six. Red, one eight zero. Green, one nine zero. She's closing in. It will not be long. Before the end, you murderers. He'll never shake it. We've got to. We've got to. Impact 60 seconds. Stand by, phones. In less than 50 seconds. Tempest will be finished. Oh, if only there was something wrong with the torpedo. But it's infallible. Impact 30 seconds. Okay, this is it. Troy, have you gone crazy? Just sit tight, phones. That missile, it was armed with a warhead. But, but how? There's only one answer. Jordan, those missiles can't be charged accidentally. You mean it was deliberate, Troy? What else? Navy Sub 27 from Stingray. Have you gone crazy, Jordan? Leave radio off. You do something to the missile. No. No, I swear it. Tempest avoided the missile. Titan, very angry. Come in, Jordan. Do you read me? Ah, oh, the sub radio's dead. Tower frequency phones. Tower from Stingray. Commander Shore speaking. Troy, what's going on out there? We watched the whole thing on the Aquascan. That missile had a warhead, sir. Then it was a deliberate attempt to kill you and phones. What does Jordan think he's doing? Well, he's not answering. What worries me is that he's got another four missiles aboard. I can't believe it. Not Jacques. But if he uses those other weapons... Yeah, I know, Atlanta. There's no other course, Troy. You'll have to attack first. Okay, sir. Could this be some crazy scheme of Captain Jordan's just to prove that the Navy's better than the Wasps? I don't know, Atlanta, and I don't care. As it stands, Jordan has committed an act of war. Um, another missile, immediately. 2-7 from Stingray. You are classified as a hostile vessel. We are coming into attack with Sting missiles. They mean it. I won't have time to get another missile ready. You have 60 seconds to surrender before number one missile is launched. What's your answer, Jordan? We're going to fire to kill. You have 55 seconds. They'll blow us out of the water. There's nothing we can do. You have 30 seconds, Jordan. Do you surrender? Just tell me what to do, Troy. It may be a trick. Yeah, but I've got to accept his word. Close in and be ready with the missiles. Tempest, I'll do anything you say. I couldn't help what happened. Okay, Jordan. But one false move. I am not your enemy, Troy. I am a friend. With friends like you, we don't need enemies. Now surface immediately and proceed back to Marineville. <laughs> Jordan 
surfacing. Okay, let's go after him. Troy! There's another craft submerged where the sub was. What kind of craft? Big one. It's moving off. Troy, look! A mechanical fish. One of Titan's vessels. Prepare to attack, phones. Make all speed, Jordan, and report to Commander Shore. But, sir... I tell you, I had no choice. Captain Jordan, your craft has been thoroughly investigated for anything that will substantiate your story. But we have found nothing. But it's true, I tell you. There were two aquaphibians. They forced me to arm the missile. Sorry, Captain. It won't do. You'll be held in close arrest pending your court-martial. And I'm gonna go for the maximum penalty. I'm afraid you can't do that, sir. Ah, right, you're back, Troy. Eh? What do you mean? Guess Jordan's story is true, sir. We located one of Titan's ships manned by two aquafibians. We destroyed the craft. <laughs> there. <laughs> what did I tell you? Okay, Jordan, you're off the hook. But I'd like to say one thing before you go. If any of my men and the wasps had given in to the enemy as easily as you did, I'd have thrown him out of the service. That is all. It's well of you guys to invite me to the party after what happened. You can thank Atlanta for that. And if you can keep your temper, Troy, we should have a swell evening. Guess you're the type that never learns, Jordan. Oh, forget it, Troy. Life's too short. Well, that's big of you guys. But you and your commander, sure, you're all the same. Still can't accept that the Navy's number one. I don't think you should say any more about that, Jacques. Why not, Atlanta? It's true. He was about to cut martial me. He actually doubted my word as an officer of the World Navy. I'm sorry, Marina. Guess it looks like your party's gonna be spoiled again. But I can't sit here and listen to that. Jordan, you're nothing but a stupid, bragging phony. If I'd been the commander, I'd have clapped you in irons and gone ahead with a charge of cowardice in the face of the enemy. Now listen here, Tempest. No, you listen to me, Jordan. I'm fed up to the teeth with the sound of your voice. And I figure I speak for maybe 99% of the Marineville personnel. I'm not going to stay here and be insulted. I'm living. Well, that suits me fine. I'll show you to the door. Don't bother. Good. Bye. Sorry, Atlanta, but I had to do that. Someone needed to tell him what he really was. I know, Troy. If you hadn't done, I would have. I've been a fool, Troy, not to have seen through him. Can you forgive me for last night? What say we forget it? The whole thing. <laughs> Let's pretend Jordan just never came to Marineville. All right. It's forgotten. Who is this guy, Jordan, anyway? Never heard of him. Shall we go back inside? I hear Marina's throwing a swell party. Yeah. And three of the best people in Marineville are going to be there. Well, I figure that makes four of the best people, Atlanta. <laughs> Guess you didn't count yourself. You always wear kind of modest. Magic to me, 
a beautiful mystery I'm certain to fall, I know Because you enthrall me so Marina Aqua Marina Why don't you say That you'll always stay Close to my 